Hey, Bruce, are you expecting uh, Mike and Shane back for this one? Um, you know, Mike, Mike got out of protocol uh, and got a day of practice in today, so he's good. Um, Shane is still up in the air. Um, you know, we got one more, one more shot for him tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. And uh, give me a breakdown on Texas Tech. Is there a hotter team in college basketball right now? No, they've been special, and they, they've done it without, I guess you would consider their two mainstay guys. You know, they've done it without Shannon and McCullough at times. Obviously, McCullough came back and was really instrumental in their, their win um, against Baylor. Um, just, uh, you know, they he's, you know, Mark's done a great job. They got some veteran guys that transferred in and, uh, he's got them playing their butts off and they're playing together. They're playing hard. They're, you know, their defense is, is a little different than, than what you see on a normal day, obviously taking charges, I think six last night against Oklahoma state, um, you know, and then just kind of allows a lot of freedom on offense. Uh, we, you know, it's, it comes down, it's going to be toughness. It's going to be discipline. Um, it's going to be, you know, can we defend them one-on-one? -on -one? Um, and then on the other end, just uh, making the right plays, a simple plays. They, they, they make, they take you out of what you normally do uh, with a lot of switching. And, you know, it's some of it, we're going to uh, have to move that basketball uh, side to side and, and make, uh, you know, not, and then beat them once we move them. I think that's the biggest thing. So, uh, rebounding is a, a big factor. That's the toughness part. Uh, you know, they're plus eight or nine uh, overall. Um, and then they just, they crash and they, you know, the, they allow guys to go one-on-one. -on -one. I saw a lot. And then the other guys are crashing, seeing if they can pick up those misses and get their opportunities. And last one for me, how did the guys bounce back from that last game and, and practices this week? I, you know, they, they're good. And then I, you know, obviously it was, uh, you know, it was a gut check. It was a heartbreaker. I mean, I can use a lot of words. The whole last, uh, you know, 12, 13 days have been, it's uh, to me, I would almost think it's a, a bad dream with a, with a nightmare the other day at the end. Um, you know, but uh, they, I, you know, we, they were very, we all text with them, talk to them late into the night after the game. Uh, they came back very quiet, uh, you know, which you, which you hope, uh, you know, no messing around. We just said, Hey guys, we're not going to watch it. Uh, we're going to, we're moving forward. We got to, you know, we know what we did. You know, you, you make one play, you score up on a press breaker, you make a free throw, you get, you know, you get a stop, you make all those offensive, offensive mistakes, you get a stop at the end. Uh, you still find a way to make a way to, way to win a game. And, uh, you know, they, I thought yesterday was good. We just tried to make it, you know, short, snappy, make, you know, prepare them best we could for what Texas Tech is going to do with, uh, you know, with a hard fought game the night before where guys played 35, 37. Today was a good practice. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, they, they just give you a different looks and you got to figure it out. Uh, I still remember a few years ago when they were in the uh, sweet 16, and one of the coaches, they're, you know, going to play. He said, you know, can we, what do you got to do? And I, like, do you run your stuff? You're going to be in trouble because they take you out of it. You got to, you got to, you know, do some different things. Hopefully we can do enough different things that allow us to score. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, next question to Glenn Kinley. Yeah, Bruce, obviously a, a tough stretch, four-game stretch you guys have ahead. What's kind of your message to the guys right now? What are you telling them to try and stay positive, knowing that you're going into to a rough stretch? Well, we went through a rough stretch. I don't know how much you can get rougher without coaches, without players, without practice. Um, I mean, I, I, you know, obviously, you know, just, you know, all, all you can do is it, – it, this is about our guys and helping them and, and being positive and – um, you know, they, we got a great group. I mean, I'm just telling you, it's, uh, they care. They, they, they want to do well. Um, you know, we, we, we lack, you know, at times some, you know, some toughness, we lack some, uh, you know, making those right plays, those right decisions. I think they've watched it. I, 
I would, you know, people probably say, you know, they'll, you'll go on in social media and say I'm crazy. I just, we improved the other night. You know, when they made the run, we stopped, we stood up and said no more. And we came back and had the game in hand. We just didn't finish. So we, you know, I, I would say we made improvement. That's pretty much without practice, um, you know, and, and, you know, and there's some of that this late in the year, you get later in the year, it's, it is mental and understanding and learning. So, um, you know, so it's, it, you know, we're just trying to be positive, helping them. They're good, good young man. You know, sometimes, you, you know, we tell them we love them and we do and we care about them. They're fun to coach. They, they want to do well. Um, now, I just hope they get rewarded. And, and, but there you, no one just gives you anything, especially in the Big 12. Uh, you have to earn that. Uh, next question to Michael Goins. Hey Bruce, when, so when Texas Tech takes you out of your out of your offense, what what happens then? You run kind of freelance secondary options. What do you do? Got to move ball. You got to move the basketball. You got they they overhelp everything. Obviously, that's just their and they're, that's why they take charges. I think I just mentioned six charges last night. Um, they lead the country in that. They they switch a lot of stuff. I mean, they ended up. You know, their five men can guard. I mean, they're one-on-one -on -one defense. They, you saw it against Baylor, one of the best guards in the country. Uh, in those last couple plays, switched the ball screen. The five men just said, heck, not, not today. You're not, you're not getting a shot off. You're not getting, a, you're not getting by me. And uh, so, you, you, you know, I think that, and this is a little bit for Marquise, I think, you know, because he's so good with that ball and getting in there. Uh, but we saw it against West Virginia, getting the charges. Um, you know, he's just got to be, we want him to go, but he's got to go at the right times. So then he's got to realize people are coming and he's got to make the right play. Uh, you know, it's a, it, so some of it just yesterday, we just talked about moving that ball and then they will pick up their intensity. They'll fight things. Uh, they get aggressive. Uh, they got depth. Uh, McCullough's very smart, uh, knows how to play. Some of those other guys are veteran guys. Got, you know, some older guys and, and they'll turn up the intensity. So, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, the whole thing is you, you've seen some of their scores. Uh, you know, Tennessee, it was like first one to 40 wins. Uh, Iowa State, they were fighting to get the 50 win. Um, and, you know, we beat them here with Dean and those guys that year. I think 50 something to 40 something, you know, it's just, you know, we got to be prepared for that tough. This, I thought our defense was better the other night. Obviously, the last two possessions could have made the difference. Um, you know, but uh, that's you know, we got to we got to stand up and stop them, and then see if we can move the basketball. Obviously, it will help if we make some some threes. I think against them, I think it's if you move the ball, you're gonna those are the kind of shots you're gonna get. It appeared TCU played heavy and overplaying the passing lanes. What give you the biggest problems Wednesday? Uh, you know, with them, they, they just, I, I said it, I think after, um, you know, people ask what's the difference. TCU is more rugged. They're tougher defensively than they were a year ago. They maybe don't have Nimhart and some of those guys are Samuels, veteran guys that were pretty talented, but the guys they added just are more aggressive and tough and, you know, we, we didn't turn it over as much um, that game, but, uh, you know, we just, they didn't give us many easy looks. And and when we had them, they got you out of rhythm. Um, I thought, you know, you go back and look, you know, there were a handful of plays where we make one more pass and that's, it's going to be key, uh, you know, tomorrow, it's there, tomorrow morning uh, when we played them, you know, it's, it's, you got a good shot but the next guy has a better shot. And if we can get to that point, our guys, they've been kind of, you know, you know, they have a little thing in practice the last few days, just about, you know, what's make that next pass, make that next play. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can read that and make those plays that make a difference. I appreciate it. Yeah. Other questions for coach? Uh, go ahead, Glenn. Yeah, Coach, just kind of tell us what would a win <laughs> against Texas Tech do just for the confidence and morale of, of your group right now? Well, obviously, we've had a bad stretch like we've talked about, but it, 
you know, you're a team right now, if they were probably rated, I would think after what they've done the last, you know, they, from the last week, beating Kansas, beating Baylor, beating Oklahoma state, you know, they'd be a top 10 team now, I would think. So, you know, have that opportunity, um, you know, it, it would be great for our guys and, uh, you know, what we've been through, uh, it would be a, it would be a life, you know, just give us some life, some hope, um, you know, and that, you know, obviously you be the top team like that, give you hope for moving forward and won't get any easier. As you said, we've got a tough stretch coming up and, but, uh, you know, it's a, we've been in every game. If you look at the three games, it's eight points and each one you had a shot to win or tie. And uh, even Texas, it's, you know, it wasn't totally out of reach, it's a little stretch. And that was with a depleted lineup. And, and so uh, we're not that far off, but uh, the scores and the records, it, we're a long way off. So we got to find a way. And I just hope for their sake, uh, staff's sake, what we've been through, I hope some things go our way. But we got to, like I said before, no one's going to give it to you, especially in this, like, they could give a darn if you had three players or four players, they're coming, they're not taking prisoners. They're going to come, especially this group are coming to, they're coming to kick your butt. So uh, you know, we're going to have to stand up and be men. And uh, I thought we did a little bit better, but um, you know, not enough at the, at the end. Thanks coach.